Hello, Year Four. These are your. Um, this is your maths video with the arithmetic questions. Uh, just before we get onto the arithmetic questions for next week, here is just some vocabulary that we're going to be looking at over them over next week. Uh, number one is perimeter. Uh, perimeter is the distance around a a shape. Um, <clears throat> So with that, that will be a phrase, that, a word that you're going to be hearing quite a lot of next week. And rectilinear is another word we are going to be hearing. It's a shape where all sides meet at right angles. Um, so it could be a square, it could be a rectangle, or it could be like an L shape, you know, things like that. So that's what rectilinear means. So check them words out and, and get used to using them. Also, we've been looking at these measurements this week, but just to clarify, we've been using millimeters, centimeters, meters, and kilometers. And in brackets, you can see the abbreviated term that you would use when um, writing them in your maths book. So MM is millimeters, CM is centimeter, M on its own is meter, and KM is kilometer. Right, your arithmetic questions for the 9th of November. Uh, here they are. You've got four times three, a quarter of a hundred. What is 68 as a Roman numeral? We have a number sequence next. Can you please put the next number in? You then have seven times four. On the other side, we've got 56 divided by eight. Uh, can you find 10% of 80? What's 4,210 plus 1,425? And then put the following numbers in ascending order and then 32 divided by 4. <clears throat> For the 10th, we have 4 times 8, a quarter of a thousand. What is 18 as a Roman numeral? What number sequence? Uh, what number is next in the se sequence? What is 3 times 6? What is 54 divided by 6? What is 10% of 50? What's 4,210? Take away 2,110. Put these numbers in descending order. And then 44 divided by 4. For the next question, we have 4 times 7. Oh, sorry, the next day is four times seven. What is half of 42? What is 124 as a Roman numeral? Put the following numbers, uh, put the next number in that sequence. And for a bonus point, it, if you can tell me what that sequence is called, there's a special name for that sequence of numbers there. Um, so if you can come and tell me what that, that, that special name is for that sequence, uh, you'll get a bonus point. Um, Next one is five times four. We have 63 divided by seven. What is 10% of 20? Uh, the next question is 6,340 plus 2,222. Then put all these numbers in ascending order, 42, 12, 32, 67, and 13. And then lastly, what is 30 divided by six? For the 12th, we have four times six. What is a third of nine? What is 25 as a Roman numeral? What number is next in the following sequence? What's three times six? What's 12 divided by six? 10% of 10. What is 6,788 take away 2,542? What is four, what is um, 456 PM, sorry, I was, had a memory lapse there. What is 4.56 p.m. on a 24-hour clock? So how would the numbers look on a 24-hour clock? And the last one is 42 divided by 6. And then our final question, uh, day is 13th. We have 4 times 9. We have a quarter of 12. What is today's date as a Roman numeral? Uh, so that would be a bit of a challenge. So good luck with that one. Uh, what number is next in the sequence? We've got 23, 28, 33, 38. Then we have 3 times 7. We have 24 divided by 6. We have 40. Oh, sorry, what is 40% of 10? Question, the next question, number 8. What is 23 metres in centimetres? 
We did a bit of that last week, so hopefully you will uh, get that one correct. Uh, what is 8.45 p.m. on a 24-hour clock? So how does that look like on a 24-hour clock? And the last one, what is 36 divided by 6? So these are your arithmetic questions for this week. Good luck. We'll be going through any uh, questions that you weren't too sure on in class on the day uh, of that arithmetic. Um, so good luck. And remember, on Wednesdays, this question here, what sequence is next in the sequence? What number is next in the sequence? Can you, uh, for a bonus point, let me know what we call that sequence. There's a special name for, the, for, for that sequence. Okay, good luck, guys. And uh, all the best. <laughs>